Hello, I'm Dr Penny Luthwaite, one of the consultants in infectious diseases. We've produced a short video to try and help show how to safely use PPE to reduce the risk of you contaminating yourselves when seeing and assessing patients with COVID to try and keep everyone safe. Observe the following scenario. What do you notice? Sometimes in the busy clinical environment we can forget the basics. However, these are so important for keeping ourselves safe. This doctor hasn't got her hair tied back, has her goggles on her head, isn't bare below the elbows, keeps touching her mask, uses her hands to open the bin and doesn't use the correct hand hygiene technique. Here we can see the correct technique. This doctor's hair is tied back off her shoulders She's wearing appropriate PPE and wearing goggles. She's using appropriate hand washing technique for 30 seconds. And she's using the pedal on the bin. And when she's seeing a patient, she's wearing appropriate PPE, apron and gloves. patient next door who's really really unwell and oh. would you mind coming to just see them and have for a senior review for me? Yeah sure, what's wrong with them Mikey? Um, the respiratory rate is really really high oh. and I think they're deteriorating from a Covid perspective. Oh no. Sometimes at the most stressful moments we can easily make mistakes. This doctor is dealing with a very sick patient. Did you notice? He forgot to wash his hands when entering the ward. He's wearing a lanyard, he has his mask under his chin, his goggles on his head, he's wearing gloves between clinical areas and he's having a drink in the clinical area. The senior doctor is wearing jewellery and touches her hair during the conversation and forgets to wash her hands as exiting the ward. She's also standing too close to her colleague. It's really important that your mask is well fitting, covering both nose and mouth and not touched once put on. As you can see, this mask is not close fitting. Surgical mask adapters can be used if you find that your mask is loose. Also, theatre style masks are available if you find these fit you better. FFP3 masks must be worn if undertaking aerosol generating procedures on COVID positive or suspected patients and when working in areas such as critical care. You must be fit tested for the mask you are using and perform a fit check each time you wear one to ensure an adequate seal. To remove an FFP3 mask, do so by holding the straps at the back of your head and pulling forwards away from your face and body. Fluid repellent gowns must be worn when conducting aerosol generated procedures on COVID positive or suspected COVID patients and when working in areas such as critical care. Gloves need to cover the sleeve cuffs and the gown needs to adequately cover your back. You may need to ask a colleague to help with this. In a busy clinical area, simple things can easily be forgotten. Remember, when seeing a patient, don't touch your face or mask, as this will contaminate yourself. PPE is to protect you. Once it's on, think, front is contaminated, back is clean. Keep your hands in front of you. When removing your gown, pull forwards from the shoulders and roll the gloves and gown together, away from your body and place in the bin. Then wash your hands. Tips for examination. When examining her patient, this doctor contaminates her stethoscope and then contaminates herself. The correct technique for examination using a stethoscope can be seen here, with one hand remaining clean and the other being contaminated.
Don't forget to clean your stethoscope after use and ideally store it in your pocket. Communal areas. It's really important for our health and well-being to take a break, but this needs to be done keeping yourself as safe as possible. Here you can see the clinical team in the staff room. Do you notice anything in particular? Here you can see staff demonstrating safe practice. The doctor leaves the ward and cleans his hands and goggles and changes his mask. Staff are seated two metres apart. PPE is being used correctly. And the environment is also cleaned before and after use, including workstations. When entering other areas such as the kitchen and toilet, don't forget to clean your hands and change your mask. Thank you for watching this uh, short video. If you would like any further information, please follow the links on the screen. Thank you.